This video will give you an overview of how to design or recreate your garden using Shoots award-winning software. Here are a few gardens designed by Shoots members. A flower garden, a vegetable plot, a small balcony garden and a large garden. Using the garden planner is very easy. To get started, first log in and add some plants to your lists. These will then be available to use later in your garden design. Once you are happy with the list of plants in your garden, open the garden planner. When the garden planner opens, you will see a planning grid in the middle, drawing shapes and tools, the left, and my plants at the right. Notice that the plants in your list are available to use in your garden plan. We also provide plant details which may be helpful when deciding the position. To plan in a larger format, click the full screen button top right. The design tool is easy to use. Simply drag and drop shapes from the left onto the grid. There are a range of shape types to choose from. There are trees, shrubs, flowers, vegetables, furniture and so on. There are also a whole range of drawing tools which allow you to draw your own shapes such as lawn, flower beds and paving. If you select garden beds, for example, you can also select the style of garden bed you'd like to add to your plan. I'll show you how to use a drawing tool. Select the drawing line, for example. This allows you to draw the shape of the bed you'd like on your plan. As you draw the lines, you will see the length of each line on the grid. When you complete the shape, double-click and the shape will be filled in with style you had selected. If you are not happy with the style you selected, you can amend it by using the options in the Properties box. Click on the shape to view the formatting options. Select another style, such as this earthy toned brown. You can also delete any shapes you have added. Click on the shape and then click the red cross in the navigation. I am just deleting the shrubs I added earlier to my plan. Now I am going to draw a boundary wall around the lawn shape I created earlier. Select on walls and fences and select a style. I will select a solid wall style and line draw shape. Draw where you want the wall to appear. When you double click, the wall shape is applied to the lines you drew. Now let's add the plants and trees from our My Plant lists. For the birch tree in my list, I want to select a tree shape. Find Trees list and make a selection. I am going to choose this transparent tree shape from the list of trees available. Drag and drop into place on the plan. Now associate the chosen shape to the birch in your lists. Remember for each plant you have a lot of information available in the Garden Planner tool. To associate the plant to the shape on the grid, drag and drop onto the shape. It is really very easy. Now just click OK. Now you'll see that the shape has been assigned as the tree shape you have selected. You can now drag and drop the same tree again from the list at the right onto the grid. Let's do the same with the other plants in our list. I will select a flower shape for the verbena plant. I'll show you how you can also associate a plant using the properties box. Select the plant from the list still available to associate to. You can amend the colour of the flower. I will select a purple colour for the flower colour and follow the same process for the rose. I will choose a different flower shape for the rose. Once you are happy with your plan, you can print or save it. Click the Preview tab to view the options. You can print your plan or save, for example, as a JPEG file. There are also printing options you can select. If you click the Report tab, you will see two options, a list of plants and quantities in your plan. And if you click the Care Calendar tab, you will see a month-by-month -month list of how to care for the plants in your garden plan. We also send you reminders so you won't forget. 
Thank you for watching. That concludes our demonstration of the garden design software. If you still have questions, please email us.